that I'm ready. We've got your back, Kayo. Now go and do what you're best at. Prepare yourselves for a marvelous show. Standing before you, we have the Mountain of Muscles, the Tower of Power, the Behemoth of Rome. Oh, no, it can't be. But I don't understand. I've been rooting for you, Kao, and waiting for this moment, your reunion with your dad. What's the problem? Aren't you glad to see him? What have you done to him? Oh, he did this to himself. He was stupid enough to come here without the gloves. And as you may have realized, I need them. Oh, right, right. We need them. So I guess I should thank you for bringing them here. Which one of you two is the Eternal Warrior? Because I'd like to speak with the boss, and I'm not sure who is who. I don't want to waste my time on any more minions. I am the Eternal Warrior, of course. You! I'm higher up than you! I'm literally above you! No, we are! Because we are one, isn't that right? Good. Now that we've settled that, let's move to more pressing matters. The gloves. Astonishing. You were as crazy about us as you are, well, crazy. You see, Kale, while you might think that you've purified the hungry jungle or saved the frozen mountains, we don't care. Once we wear those gloves, the whole world will bow to us. That includes your pathetic island. We created the eternal power. That power belongs to us. Pardon me, but I would like to say that you are rather too bossy for my liking. Now that I think about it, I'm actually quite fond of where we are now. Thank you. Shush, you stupid thing. Come now, Kobe. Bring me the gloves and let's end this farce. Try not to worry, Cal. We will save him. Even if it means we have to beat the snot out of him first.
supposed to be? That's why your head is so light! It's empty! Dad! Sorry it took us so long. Are you kidding, Walt? You saved me. Not just me either, you saved the world. Well, these gloves are partially responsible for the success. Oh yes, I sure recognize those. Though it looks like you managed to tame them. We had our ups and downs, but I think we're on the same page now. I need to apologize to you all. Especially to you, my dear children. I was too naive and overconfident. I never should have come here on my own. You don't need to apologize, Dad. After all, you're the victim. I am the true victim! I just wanted to be a fighter, but they didn't give me a chance. No one! Not a single one of them! You're too weak! You couldn't hurt to fly! Well, I proved them wrong now, haven't I? Nothing justifies what you've done. You took revenge on the whole world. No thought of consequences. Well, <laughs> it, it, it wasn't actually my idea. I'm not the one to pay. Oh, give me a break. This conversation is pointless. Let's go, everyone. It's time to leave all this behind us. It's never too late, you know. You can still become a real fighter, if you do it the right way. You showed them all, son. Now any villain will think twice before considering to take over the world. Maybe we can hope, at least for a moment, that there are no more villains out there? Yes, that's a nice thought. We can surely hope so. Marlene, you're not going to believe what we've been through. Really? And you won't believe what I've been through. I've been looking after this whole place while being a nervous wreck the entire time. Worrying about the three of you, and it's all because you wanted to be a hero. Home sweet home. If it's so sweet, then I hope you won't surprise me by escaping from it again. I promise. From now on, I will announce my epic journey. I guess that's better than nothing. Come on then, everyone. I want to hear all about everything. And we've got all the time we need. And Walt, thank you. Hey, yo! Come on! I'll be right back. Just a sec. It pains me to say something. Nice. But I cannot deny that you have done a most remarkable job. Really, Carl. Good job. Thanks. We all did. <laughs> 